chiral and achiral are adjectives. They are words that we use to describe objects, or in chemistry, they are words that we use to describe molecules. They are opposite of each other. Every molecule is either chiral or achiral. The prefix a is used to mean not. So an achiral object is an object that is not chiral. Chirality, or whether or not an object is chiral, has to do with its relationship to its mirror image. A chiral object is an object that is different from its mirror image. And an achiral object, the opposite of chirality, an achiral object is one that is identical to its mirror image. Let's look at some examples and let's start with achiral first because I think it's a little bit easier to understand. So let's draw a very simple molecule with two hydrogens and two chlorines on a carbon atom. And let's imagine what the mirror image of this molecule might look like. So let's put, let's put a mirror right here and then let's draw over here the mirror image of this molecule. So the mirror image is going to have a carbon in the center and this carbon-hydrogen bond, because it's a mirror image, will be pointing towards the mirror. So we'll have a carbon-hydrogen bond like this and this carbon-hydrogen bond, which is pointing from the carbon away from the mirror. So it'll go over here like this, and then we'll have our chlorines sticking up and sticking down. And so here is our object, and here is its mirror image, and we can easily see that this object is exactly identical to its mirror image. When it's identical to its mirror image, we say that the object is a chiral. Now for an example of a chiral molecule, let's draw up here and let's draw a similar molecule, but we'll put a few other things on the molecule and make it a little bit more interesting. And then here is our mirror. And again, let's draw the mirror image over here. So we'll start with the carbon in the middle. And with our original object, we have a carbon-bromine bond going towards the mirror. So we'll want our carbon-bromine bond going towards the mirror for the mirror image. And the carbon-hydrogen bond is going away from the mirror. So in our mirror image, we'll replicate that, go away from the mirror. And then um, we have a carbon-chlorine bond sticking up and a carbon-fluorine bond sticking down. So we'll do that, like that. And as we can see, the molecule that we drew, the mirror image, while it is similar to the original molecule, it's not identical. So if we were to grab this molecule and kind of slide it over, we can see that well, the carbon and the chlorine and fluorine are lining up pretty much identical. The hydrogen and the bromine are not exactly identical to each other. The hydrogen and the bromine are sticking on opposite sides. So this object is not exactly the same as its mirror image. Now you might be saying to yourself, what if I just took this object right here and I flipped it like a pancake? Wouldn't that make the two objects identical to each other if I just took one and flipped it like a pancake? Um, the answer, the short answer is no. And let me draw another example down here that will hopefully help you understand why. Now I'm gonna draw a left hand and it's probably not gonna be a very good drawing. Um, gonna draw a left hand. There's the thumb, that's not too bad. 
and I'm going to draw the mirror image, which would be the right hand. And you could do this yourself with your left and your right hand. You can just hold them side to side. Um, there are mirror images of each other like that. And so these, the left hand and the right hand are very similar to these two molecules right here. Like we have our thumb pointing towards the mirror and our pinky that's going away from the mirror and the rest of the fingers. Um, very similar to the, this molecule that we've drawn. Um, so the, the obvious is if I just were to pick this molecule or this hand and drag it over, we can see that it's not identical to its mirror image. And then the question is, what if I just took this hand or this molecule and flipped it over the way that you would flip a pancake? So we're just talking about turning our wrist here, turning it so that our thumb on our right hand is now pointing in the same direction. So what if we did that? What if we took this hand, and you can actually do this with your right hand, and, and flip it over? so that the thumb of your right hand is now, boy, my hands are getting worse and worse. Um, that hand is really bad. Uh, so now the thumb of my right hand and the thumb of my left hand are both pointing in the same direction. They are both pointing to the right. Now look at your hands. Look at your left hand and your right hand. Are they identical? You might originally initially say, yeah, because my pinky is on the left and my thumb is on the right. But look at the other features of your hand as well. On the right hand, your palm is facing up. And on the left hand, the back of your hand is facing up. So they are not, your hands are not completely identical. On your right hand, your knuckle, or excuse me, your left hand, your knuckles are on top. And on the right hand, your knuckles are underneath and you've got those weird finger, finger creases sticking up. So even though flipping it like a pancake may cause your thumb and pinky to be pointing in the correct direction, it changes another feature of your hand or the molecule um, in specifically the direction of the back of your hand or the direction of your palm. And this is true for molecules as well. We can't simply just flip them and have them be identical to each other. So again, in summary, an achiral molecule is one that will be completely 100% identical to its mirror image, while a chiral molecule will have at least one thing that is different between the object and its mirror image. And it may simply be just the direction or the angle or the orientation of an object.